Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're out here at Beacon Heights off the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, this is the southernmost point of the Tanawa Trail. And we're going to take a little hike to the Overlook, which I hear is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I've heard the same thing. So we're really excited to be able to do this trail. Oh, here's a sign. So Beacon Heights is off to the right. Let's see, right here. Only 0.2 miles, God. Only 0.2. So what about a pet peeve? Pet peeve, things I don't like. That other people do. Just a little pet peeve. Procrastinate. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the pot call in the kettle block. Kind of. I hate when you chew gum. Me? <laughs> I'm kidding. It really is kind of loud. But I smack gum like flow on Mel's diner. And I don't realize I'm doing it because I'm just like I'm blowing bubbles and smacking bubbles. And I should only chew gum by myself. Oh, there's my mountain to sea trail. Oh, want to go right? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> and look it doesn't look that bad it's even downhill it's even downhill I don't know if it's downhill for 1200 miles yeah it but goes a long way to mountain to sea it does and I would love to be able to do it one day but today it's just Beacon Heights so we'll go left oh, like it Let's see what this says the land of our better selves is most surely reached by walking. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. All right, guys, here we are at Stack Rock Parking Area. Uh, we're gonna head to the Lynn Cove Viaduct Trail. We actually had to park here at the, this parking area because the Lynn Cove Viaduct Visitor Center is closed today, the gate's closed, so we had to park here. You can see the parking lot that we're in. Yep. We're not the only ones here. And here it is. That's us. We're the Outdoor Mamas. Y'all like that window decal? I do. Outdoor Mamas. That's it us. Pretty? It is pretty. <laughs> Got a pretty decal. Pretty miles. <laughs> okay, so we just came from that area there where the bridge is and Walked along the side here to make it to the visitor center, which is closed today, but we're not the only ones that do this. But I honestly do believe it's okay as long as we're not driving our vehicle back here, which we'll go through the gate like we're not. Tanya wants to go over the gate. Instead of taking the easy way. Instead of taking the easy way and just walk around it like <laughs> I did. It's more fun. Okay, so it wraps itself around Grandfather Mountain's Boulder Field. Um, but it is really impressive to see. The screen I'm looking at is very dirty, obviously, but you should be able to see the bridge. And they built it where they did on the mountain to not obstruct or to interfere with the actual mountain itself. Again, this trail will lead to the Tanawa Trail, which you can keep going on. Um, that does get rockier. This is just one little section of the Linko Viaduct. I see it. What? I see part of the bridge. Oh. Right up there. Oh. It's right here. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, look. 
We're we here. Have really, this wasn't a long hike in either. I mean, we not at all. Here. Look at that. That's impressive. That is really impressive. This is incredible. Yeah, I'm just hanging out here. This is this is neat. For like a while. Yeah, and just sit. I think this is gonna be our trail. Now this takes us off of the Lynn Cove Viaduct Trail onto the Tanawa Trail. It just happens to intersect. Right, they intersect. Okay. Are you ready, Tanya? All right. Oh God, this is really neat. I like this. Oh my God, this huge rock is just leaning on another rock. On another rock, and it creates like a shelf, almost like a ceiling. Yes, for us. And then all these rocks, which the stairs. Oh wow, look Tanya. There's a cave. Oh, see, I told you we could live out here. <laughs> Tanya still wants to move out here. Okay, we got more steps. You still with me? Yep. Okay. Just saw a really cool cave. Yes, it was. On the straw. Oh god. There's a hole that just goes right down into those rocks. You, know, you want to watch your step on these. Yeah. And I think it rained here earlier. Wow, look at this. See the bridge right there. People driving on it right there. We're still on the Tanawa Trail. We just passed the Lynn Cove Viaduct. We're going to take this for a little bit because it is a great little walk. Let's see if we see any kind of view of the mountain. Yes. You can see them through the trees here and you can actually see the road and the Lincoln by up there. Yeah. We're going to see if we can get to a clear one. I'm scared! Hi! <laughs> I want to lay on my belly and scoot up here. Right, will you stop it? We're not doing that. It's just That's nuts. Of a plant. And then you fall down. That's what I'm saying. What if I fall over there? And then you down? go all the way down. Is it worth it? No. Just to get a shot of the bridge? No. I guess I'm just bossy. I don't want you to Stop. die today. Stop being bossy. I'm going to die. <laughs> I can die if I want. <laughs> I can die if I want to die. At the Lane Cove Viaduct. Oh my God. That was awesome. That was an amazing view up there of the oh. bridge. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, very glad we were able to do this today. Yeah. That very was, much so. I've been wanting to come out and do the Lenko Viaduct for a while. Yeah. And it's on the list. You know, we do have a little list that we have going of trails we that we want to do. We do. Do you want to take the Tanawa Trail back to Stack Rock? Let's do that. That'll be good. I, I don't want to. I don't want to walk on the road again. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I mean, it's really windy. There's a lot of curves, and those cars can come around there pretty fast. And you're not really supposed to be on the bridge. All right, so the Tanner Wall Trail picks up right here at the Link Cove Viaduct Visitor Center, which is closed. But we're going to go ahead and hop on the trail because it's going to take us back to Stack Rock parking area where our vehicle is, and plus we wanted to see the structure a little bit. We're on steps again. There's logs. I didn't do it. <laughs> I mean, right. steps are actually inevitable. I mean, there's no way around it. But some of these steps are really steep. We're still making our way back to the parking area. Okay, we're taking a little break. We're still on this trail, trying to make it back to the car. 
to the truck so we can get some lunch and relax for a little bit and take off our shoes but I needed to stop because it's a bit strenuous at this point and uh, lots of rocks to climb and I'm a little on the short side so I'm just a little on the short side right vertically challenged, challenged. she's not short she's fun size I'm fun size. I'm fun size. Just like a Snickers. <gasps> a Snickers? You know the little tiny ones that say fun size? That's for you. So we finally made it to the end of the trail that is on the opposite side coming from the Lenco Viaduct back to the Stack Rock parking area. So we just got back to the parking area and we are glad to see it. We are. We are hungry and need to give our feet a little rest and get something to drink but the trail was a little strenuous at, at, in spots um a little rock climbing back there but definitely burned off those crackers i ate for breakfast this morning yes definitely burned them off my stomach's been growling now for about 20 minutes yeah so. we're getting hungry all right we're heading out to the next trail get out there get out there <laughs>